Hey guys, this is Miss Early, and this is the video for the Zentangle 3D Pyramid Project. Uh, you're going to need two pieces of paper. Uh, it doesn't matter if they're computer paper like I have or notebook paper. Um, as long as they're a rectangle, it should be fine. Uh, your second paper is actually going to be uh, what you draw on top of, so you're actually just going to put that one off to the side. You don't need to do anything to it yet. Um, this first piece of paper, though, we're going to change it into a small square and a small triangle, okay? Uh, you will need some kind of scissors, pencil to make some marks, um, and then you're gonna, we're going to be tracing these shapes these, on the other paper, okay? So what you want to do first, guys, is go ahead and fold the paper in half like you're making a card. Try to get it as lined up as you can to make it as perfect as possible. Okay. I'm using a scrap piece of paper, actually. You might see some lines through it, um, but it's all good. So go ahead and cut on that fold. Okay, I'll put that off to the side. Okay, we're going to take this much smaller rectangle now, and we're going to do the same exact thing that we just did. We're going to fold it in half like a card. And then, once again, cut. Okay. I'll put this off to the side. And then, one more time, <laughs> fold it in half like a card. So that's three times, okay? And then... Cut. Okay, and we're going to save these two little rectangles. Okay, I'm just going to move that one over there. Okay, in order to turn this rectangle into a square, what you want to do is take the top left corner. So I've turned the rectangle horizontal, which means left to right, and I'm going to fold down the top left corner. Till it reaches the bottom nice and straight as straight as you can mm, that wasn't very straight was it <laughs> try again there we go okay so you get this little kind of triangular flap okay now you should see like a small rectangle off here on the side we're actually going to cut that off and then when you open this up you will have your just about perfect square, okay? Good, so he's good to go, we're gonna keep him. All right, now what we wanna do is we wanna take that other rectangle that we didn't do anything with, and we also need to turn him into a square as well. So same kind of concept, top left corner, fold it down until it gets on the bottom nice and even. Like I said, I'm using a scrap paper, so don't worry about those lines. Trim off that extra little rectangle. Open it up. Okay, so now I have two squares. All right, I'm gonna keep one a square. I'm just gonna leave him alone. Okay, I don't wanna mess him up. But I wanna turn this square into a triangle. And it can't just be any triangle. It has to be a very specific type of triangle, okay? So here is a little, like, technique to create it. So I'm going to make a little dot on the two bottom corners. Okay. And then I'm going to find the middle of the top and put a little dot right there. Okay. And now I'm going to play connect the dots and that's how I'm going to make my triangle. So you can use a ruler or anything with a straight edge. You could use, use a book or something to line up those dots. then you have your triangle, okay? And go ahead and cut it out.
perfect. You should have a triangle that fits just about as perfect as you can get it on the edges of the square, okay? Now, what you wanna do is you want to create the pyramid template with these two shapes. So here's my paper that I already traced on top of. So I just laid my square in the middle, traced around my square, okay, in the middle of my paper, all right? And then I laid the triangle up against the square and I traced the triangle on all four sides. Okay. Then once I was done with that, on the left-hand side of each triangle, I drew what I'm calling a tab, okay? Just a little skinny, thin rectangular bit that we're gonna use to, this will be how you connect the pyramid together, okay? So you do need to just do that on the left-hand side of each triangle. So I did it on this side, and then I like to rotate the paper. Do it on this left side, rotate the paper, draw it on this left side, rotate the paper, and then on the final side, okay? And that is the pyramid template, all right? So the next step would be to actually do the Zentangle drawing inside the triangular shapes, okay? So here's my other example. Okay. You can see where I took a couple of big lines and I just drew a couple of lines inside each triangle and this makes little spaces for me. And then, and use whatever you have guys, I'm gonna use a Sharpie. And then you draw a pattern inside those different little shapes, okay? A pattern is when you repeat anything. So if I repeat circles, that's a polka dot pattern. If I repeat lines, that's a stripe pattern. I repeated stars. I could repeat wavy lines, zigzag lines, literally anything as long as you repeat it becomes a pattern, okay? And you're gonna do that for all four of these triangular sections. You do not have to do the middle square. This is actually gonna be the bottom of the pyramid, so it won't be seen. So, I mean, you could draw on it if you wanted to, but it's not necessary, all right? So I'm gonna stop the video here with the drawing portion, and I will make another shorter video on how to put this together into a 3D pyramid. Good luck.